Yeah, we talked about this potential for a late surge into the European Championship field, but it looks as though it's going to well and truly hit the buffers today. Quarter finalist in Budapest, third round appearance in Belgium, but uh, it looks as though it will be just the £2,000 on the European order of merit for Rusty Jake Rodriguez and into his bank account as well, of course, but that will not be enough to get him into the field for the European Championship in Dortmund at the end of October. Unless something spectacular is forthcoming. This isn't bad, is it? 127. Should get him two darts for a 5 0 lead, unless the big fish. Well, there's no chance this goes. Be aim. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, I, di I didn't mean miss it by that much, Rusty. Rodeo 58. Well, it would have been a nice way to make some sort of impression in this one. But even that opportunity has He's passed him by. And uh, that's more like it from Rob Cross. Rob Cross. One of only three players, by my reckoning, who is currently in the top ten of the Order of Merit, the Kotal Order of Merit, and the Players' Championship Order of Merit as well. well. By and large, he's been very consistent this year. And he'll tell you that he's actually benefited from not being involved in things like the Premier League mm -hmm. and the World Series. 60. It's been the kind of routine that he had in his first year or so playing PDC Darts, where he enjoyed such incredible success, of course. Speaking of incredible success, that's a 174 for Rusty Jake. Yes, turn around, young lady, and watch this, because Rusty Jake Rodriguez is on course for a 13 darter. 140. To back up the break of throw. And 5-0 becomes 5-3. Swelled by a group of people wearing those hoot shirts, Breton shirts. Seafaring shirt. There's the, uh, I called it a bear yesterday. I got chastised this morning for. Well, it's obviously not a bear, is it's it? Obviously not You've a been bear. You've coming here year after year, Rob, and talking specifically about <laughs> that monkey. And while we and, all and know. Other, and other yeah, eggs. Well, we all know that you have something of a prejudice against the Barbary apes. Forget about that, because Rob Cross might win this on 161 on the bull. Ooh. <laughs> Well, it's a third match dart missed by Voltage. But he's going to get loads and loads more. I suspect he won't want to hang around too much longer because he will be slightly frustrated that Rodriguez has put three legs on the scoreboard. But that will be the extent of the fight back because Rob Cross has held on. Even after he came through onto the Pro Tour, he came second behind Rob Cross on the Challenge Tour, didn't he? Um, that's how he got in in the first place. And not long after that, he was saying, you know what, I, I feel like I'm a top, potentially a top 32 player. And now he's there. You, you look at him and think, well, he's, well, he could argue he's at times playing like a top four player. You know, some of the averages that he produces. When he's in full flow, he's different class, isn't he? And he kind of... In, the, in two years into that tour card, his tour card was actually looking at the back end of the year. But he may lose it. And then from there, he had a great run. He's never looked back, and he's always in the major events. And just would like to make a little bit more impact. He lost in the first round of Blackpool as well this year to Dirk Van Dijvo. That was a really good tie. But started well here. You'd fancy this now. Double eight for Searle. Brilliant. He's been really good, hasn't he? He'd be very impressive, Ryan. And sometimes he can get a mixed bag out of him on the in, in the European Tour in particular. But O'Connor is forcing the issue. He found a 180 in the previous leg. He's finding one here, but against the darts. He needs breaks, but he doesn't need this. <laughs> oh, how easy did that look? Well, that's a sickener for O'Connor because he knew there that he was in good shape. He just registered a ton 80. He was in a relatively good position in terms of potentially getting the break back, but Ryan Searle right back at him, and he's down to 1-4-2. 65-08. Yeah, sensibly done. Beautiful setup. He's played a really good game, Ryan, hasn't he? Four from six on the doubles. I call it 102 average. And going one away, potentially, with a clash with either Peter Wright or Greg Galliano. Tops. There it is. Yeah. O'Connor just having no joy whatsoever on the sill throw. Order and merit. It was, I think we concluded it was Jamie Lewis and Steve Beaton, wasn't it? And Beaton won one as well. Yeah. When Beaton was one of the uh, early winners on the European tour. Yeah. 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 
It's very unlucky for Steve Beaton, but Steve Beaton's had a lot of luck this weekend. Got a bye yesterday. And we'll play Michael Van Gerwen tonight. In the corner. Big test for Richie Eddowes, and that's the final match of the day. William O'Connor is getting a chance here to claw one of those breaks back. Nicely poised, this one. Searle waiting on 47 after that visit. O'Connor looking at 68 now. And he's got one dart at that big red button in the middle of the board, and he's off target. He's hit the single one. That could be it for a cap off a fine display from Ryan Surly. Tops, he's been clinical on the doubles. Is he going to be clinical again? He is, and that's an impressive performance from Ryan Searle. He's been a bit stop start on the European Tour stage this year, but he's sent out a marker there. Yeah. It was here where the curse started, the curse of Ross, which is it's actually a real curse, not that green jacket stuff that Paul Mickelson goes on about. <laughs> 122. Dave Chisnell. Age require 160. He's got more titles in him, and if there was any sentiment in the game, he'd get a major title, Dan, wouldn't he? But 100. unfortunately, there is no sentiment in sport. He's got to make it happen. Yeah, I'd never rule it out, but it is very, very tough. Bullseye. Another stop and a pause. It worked for him last time. Smaller target this time. Does not matter. Wesley plies here with a 1-2-6. Be a bit of an insurance policy coming in here as well. He's got six starts at 1-6-7. Stay up there. And that'll be for treble 17, when you'd think. Brilliant. How impressive has he been in this match? How impressive has he been all year? Every time we see him, you come away from it thinking there's a player there. He doesn't play bad, Dan, does he? Yeah. If you make his play well, you're going to make yourself six. difficult to beat. And Dave Chisnell's finding out the hard way here. This for 5-2, but for a double break. And he's in touching distance of Dortmund. Oh, this is big. Oh, the first wobble at a key time. Well, this time, Dave Chisnell is allowed a shot. 20 for tops, but could be awkward. You see Daryl Gurney adopt the stacker down now, I call it. He just lands it flat in the ball. But yeah. Dave Chisholm moves along. That's a big moment in this match. That winning event, he's pretty much taken every opportunity he's get. He's grabbed it with both hands. He's gone on a good run, as he's... It's only in his home country where he's beaten by Gilding. And Gilding averaged 99 in that game to Wesley's 95. And only early exits. Yeah, and, and the home crowd, it, it, sometimes a bit of a weight of expectancy. But Dave here, rushed that last start, but he's got time. Kleiser has just got to get himself ready, you feel, for the next leg. He's thinking now, kicking with a turn 40 in the next leg. 140. Oh, that at least gives Dave a little tap on the shoulder. Ooh. A little nervous look at the scores. Four. And it'll be very nervous Wesley now because Wesley plies here with a ton plus point. checkout. He's already had one in this game. This would win in the match set him up a potential repeat with Luke Humphreys and get him to the European Championships for his debut there. And he will get a match start, surely. Double 16 is the target. He stops, he pauses. It worked for him twice before. And it works again! Wesley plays here! With no Euro Tours, then getting up on a stage, playing in front of the cameras, playing in front of fans, can feel an alien experience. And as he said about making hay, this is a, you know, it's an opportunity. Now Lowe's here to just put some Whoa! ranking money on the board. Look at the order of merit position as well. In the 50s bracket, he's looking over his shoulder. Mm, now then, needs to find a treble. Doesn't rescue it. He, at the very least, he should have had a dart at the bullseye there, but he's not managed to stay straight. And that 180 from Dirk van Dijven Boda bought him a chance to hit back immediately. Yeah, big deep breath from Dirk as he steps up. And it's so often about the timing, and when Jason Lowe's had the chance to make his move, he's not really not done so. But he's getting away with it so far. He's still in touch at two apiece. 
And even now, he's still got half a chance. Yeah, absolutely. And back up to the 20s now. 59. He does get Did to a finish, but he's still very much in the box seat in this leg. Finds his way to the 54. He can. Double 16. Game 15 data. Time to plus check out first Dirk of the match. 3 2 Dirk Van Dyvenboek. There was a piece of toast, there was a croissant, there was a slice of cheese, there was a fried egg on that plate. There we go. That's a mixture. The breakfast inspector has logged on. 41. This is the sort of detail that people want to know. They want to, if they want to emulate... This is the sort of detail people are getting. Whether they want <laughs> it or not is a completely different Any question. Any young aspiring Whoa! players out there who want to emulate Van Dijvenboek and the giant strides he's made over the past two or three years... That's what he has for breakfast. There we go. Well, Never mind your shredded wheat. He's just produced his second 180. Again, Jason, yeah. There's just some loose starts here and there for Jason Lowe. He is better than yesterday, but it doesn't look like he's good enough. Because that is a 14 data. Dirk van Dijvenbode has gone from being in a battle to being in control. Oh, he's staying up. 140. Okay. Yeah, and to good effect as well. Two darts away, maybe an 11 darter to round things off for Dirk van Dijvenbode. Yeah, would be a second 11 of the match, but that is a fabulous shot from Jason Lowe, just to remind him the game isn't won yet. Misses the treble 19 that would have left double 16. Still the door open for Jason Lowe here. 61. Hitting a double to leave the double. Very Jose de Souza. Look at this for a level game. Oh, Jason Lowe with a 14 data. Back from the dead. Can Jason Lowe do the same? Ah. No, he can't. 45. Well, that was his downfall at the midway point of this match when Dirk was able to kick on those visits without a trouble. 65. Right, leaves 80. A two trouble visit here for Jason. And he's still got a chance. Dirk is going to get a match dart, maybe a couple. He probably needed a second one. One, three, three. It's an awfully yeah. tall order if he's allowed to go. 93 would have been manageable. And here we go. Just one dart at tops for Dirk van Dijvenbode. And he's 40. missed it. And yeah, that, that could make such Jason a difference for Jason Lowe. If he was looking at 93 here, two dart combination, you'd fancy his chances. One, three, three, a huge tall order to save the match. But you never know. Oh, ho, ho, ho. and that's as much reaction as you'll get from Jason Lowe. He nearly stole this away. He might yet, but Dirk has got to miss three for the match. And he does not miss any more. Yeah, a little bit of an advantage. It could do with being a bit wider as far as he's concerned. Two, three, three. Let's see what he does here. Two troubles from here would be significant. He, he, he disappointed he doesn't find another one off that first night. You can see from the camera angle we got there how it opened the bed and then follows in. Well, Put's going to get a shot to lead for the first time. Yeah, that's what he'll be looking for as well, that trouble 19 to start things off. Two dark combination incoming here for Danny Noppert for the break of throw. Finds the treble 19, back upstairs for double 18. Oh, beautifully done. What a sublime 14 data that was. But Joyce is going to get a poke here at 1 3 2, but what pressure you'd, you'd expect Danny Nopper to lay this up. What sort of shots are you going to leave? So far. Yeah, good last one. Yeah, he enjoyed that dart, didn't he? Yeah, that could be the difference. That's going to just cast a spell of doubt in the back of the uh, mind of Ryan Joyce. Treble 19, though, is the target. And that wasn't a bad mark of that first 25 as well, had he had the opportunity for the bullseye. As it is, he's now reliant upon mistakes once again. Another two dark combination incoming here for Danny Noppert. Let's see how he fares with this one. He's done convincingly. He's not going to do it in two darts this time. Double seven. Massive part of the match. And Noppert took to the task again. That's a heartbreaker for Ryan Joyce, who played a great leg. 2-5 for Joyce to level at 5 all. There's the 25. Can't find the treble. So Nopper's going to get a go at 108. He's had a good go here, Ryan Joyce. He may. Another chance in his legs. Not a great setter for Ryan. 
but not it. Treble for the double. Can't find it. And Joyce, who's hung around in this match, is going to get a chance to put us back on throw. And he would have the darts in the deciding leg if he gets rid of the 73. All about the first dart. Sorry, 18, 18 double, yeah, sorry. Brilliant. Oh, look at that, he, he landed it in the impression that was left on the board from the previous one. And my goodness, that's excellent play from Ryan. This is big. And Moppet's making his move. Treble 17, this will hurt. It still hurts a little bit. This is a big ass for Ryan Joyce. A couple of treble 19s, maybe. And it's not going to go. Moppet's going to get a chance of the match. Well, he may be a World Championship quarter-finalist, but he's never made the final day of a European Tour event, Ryan Joyce. Just double-checking, 85 left for Ryan Joyce. Sorry, 95, 69 scored. 136. on a double. And he requires... Over to Danny Noppet. On the shoulders of Danny Noppet, just having a little check of the scoreboard to see exactly where he and Ryan Joyce is. Well, for a moment he may have had a query there but um, that looks to be in order 74 20 for tops simple formula here for Danny Noppert match dart for a 6-5 win to make it a hat-trick of victories for the Dutch this afternoon and it's not to be and Ryan Joyce will return looking at double 19 he could entertain the idea of splitting this because he loves double 16 it's a big question that he's got to ask himself it, it looks like he is splitting Oh, 28 remaining. Four oh, G's and Ryan Joyce closes out victory, and that is a massive victory for Ryan Joyce. The best one was when I qualified about an hour ahead of everybody else because John Park being disqualified and made about that. I'd have obviously beaten John Park without to play him. Uh, just want to put that out there. But yeah, the qualifiers, not everybody's cup of tea, particularly Dan Dawson's, but it offers a massive opportunity. And certainly at the match play, it did look like Jose de Souza was getting back into his title winning form. As you say, a disappointment at the Grand Prix, but Adrian Lewis was excellent against him. But you don't expect it to knock him too much. 93. I learned something about Jose the other yesterday as well regarding the Grand Prix as he eyes up double 19. And there it is. Well, his best work in this game so far is on that 19 segment. Whether it's at the very, very top end of professional darts or the guys a bit further down looking to establish themselves and save their professional status. Yeah, you summed that up well. There. Literally, there's something on it for every, every player, isn't there? Pretty much, yeah. Whether it's like you said... The top players want to keep the form going. You know, Michael Van Geeren, Gerwin Price, Peter Wright, we're calling the big three. If they draw each other, you want to just beat them. And, you know, you take into the back end of the year. This for 4-1. Lucky. Yeah, it's an exciting time of the year, particularly those last two in Barnsley. Where you, you're looking at your result. You're looking at someone else's who's close to you at the table. Double 16. And Roby John with a ton plus checkout. We've got a real game on here. It, 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 there's more than one way to win a game of darts and just, you know, changing up the rhythm of the game, getting the crowd involved. Oh, You've got to back it up with good darts, of course you have. And that's the, even his manager, when he started doing that little trick, was saying, don't do it, Roby, it doesn't work for you. But I think it kind of does. Oh, Seems to relax him. And he's on a potential 11 darter here. I mean, it may not matter. Because Jose can wrap it up on the ball with a 1 6 1. Oh, match dart miss by Jose de Souza. What an effort. What a leg this has been. Let's keep us going. Top stops, maybe. All right. His reaction was miles away. It wasn't that far away. Really, but it's a good effort. But it could be his last dart. It's Jose de Souza for a place in the last 16. Stood in now. Just stepping back. Double eight. He's been the better player. Can he make that? Count it has them. A really good game, played in good spirit. Good run again for Roby John Rodriguez. Good to see him back. Perfect first start. One hundred. A combination that Damon Hetter's got of the 
quite heavy, thick barrel, but a very long point. It means that there's a lot 60. of metal there he can Game use, but he's not obscuring much of the bed he's going for. It's a nice combination for him in terms of finding ways to hit lots of 180s, and he does. He's been hitting an awful lot of 180s this year. Yeah. 61. Well, that Game might be too 40. little too late for Doby as far as this leg is concerned because Heta once again unerring on the finishings. A well, chance for Doby to put another one on the scoreboard. It would just be a hold of throw, so. 88. Just another concern that it wasn't fluid from Doby there. It was again a little bit stop start. 100. This you require 57. Well, I suspect, Chris, this is going to have to go. Two darts at double top. Yeah, he doesn't like that one bit. That's a long way inside. Double 10, lots on this one as well. And Once David again, Damon Hess has just been ushered towards the finish line, maybe in this uh, particular leg as well. Another break of throw incoming, potentially. Just the single, so that leaves the bullseye. 60. Chris, you 10. Awkward. <laughs> well, he <laughs> now split he it. a double. <laughs> OK. He nearly did that earlier on when he wanted the 25. Back double there. two, two, double two. Oh, yeah. Yeah. yeah! It's easier to hit a double when you've got a guide in there, isn't it? The world is watching. To leave double 12. Oh, beautiful yeah. that. Brown's enjoying himself. Yeah, no involvement. Further oh, involvement for Keegan oh, this weekend. Oh, oh my word. No oh, 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 oh. <laughs> Damon, 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 Damon. What are you doing? The blunder from down under. Plus 180. And Chris Doby, no pressure on him as he picks up another leg. May need to take it out because Chris Doby is going to be on something useful here. Maybe double 15. Oh, not sure that was the way to go, but anyway, he's left himself a two dark combination. It's very manageable. 147 is not going to happen for Heta here. And if Doby can establish a new highest check out on the match, we are going all the way. 85 is the target, looking at the 19s. Who missed starts at double 14 to take us into a decider. So double eight for six four. Looked like it was going to be a procession for the Aussie number one. Oh. It is anything but because that is three match darts missed by Damon Hetta, and we might be going the distance. Three missed match darts all at double eights three missed opportunities on double 14 has to switch now to double seven 14. and Damon Hetter somehow has another go he's had three goes at it and he was close with a couple that's as close as you can get oh. there's quite a wall to bounce off there and he just glides it in at the sixth time of asking. Damon Hetta manages to pin the match dark. <laughs> Should have been, yeah. I'll tell you what, if he, 60. If he turns up today, I think. If the same version turns up as last night, get him pricing for a game. Well, 45 left double 12. That leaves double six. Now, uh, Aspinall will just have to tread carefully here. Vanderbilt is looking at 130. Not going to take the one three. Disappointed. You always fancy yourself to get that down at least the ball. Aspinall to level up, but this is awkward straight at it. Yeah, why not? And now. Ah, overcommitted, but the setup not great from Vincent. Vincent Off one third, you've got to be leaving a bit better than 97. If he takes the 97, it's a pivotal moment in the match. Top to Van der Voort.
Yeah, all about the first dart, and he took care of business with that treble 19, moves upstairs for tops. No left. messing about whatsoever. We spoke earlier about two dart combinations. Van der Voort with an excellent example the there, 97, no bother perfect. whatsoever. And Nathan Aspinall, uh, you know, he's, he's looking agitated and frustrated. There we see he's single three with the first dart, single 20 to back it up, and a treble. What well, I mean, I, I'm just lost for a... It's just, it's just one of those performances, a flat performance from Nathan, and, and as good as he's been last week, he'll admit he's having a bit of a shocker here. 98. Just catching up with him, do you think? Well, possibly. You, these games happen, and it's how you dust yourself down. I mean, it's looking like he's going to go and be beaten here, but he needs to go again then in the next event, Aspinall. 45. Well, he's filled it up on the treble five, which um, just about sums up his afternoon so far. Convincing. On 18, no pressure, doesn't even have to worry where this goes. No pressure and in dreamland. 5 0. So he'll be quietly confident he's getting six minimum of this. He'll hope he won't need him, he may not. Another one of them. Just round it off. Yeah. Well, well, a little bit careless. <laughs> well, this would be a break of throw, and this might just add an element of intrigue to the final match of the day it's been a very one-sided match so far but the 170 is not happening for nathan Aspinall. he's gone into that treble five again he's not going to fill it up again is he that 170 shot was what went in his senior tv title for van der Voort to wrap it up here tops to close out a comfortable victory well five out of seven on the double so far make that five out of eight oh, make that five out of nine Eighty-five. Gonna get a dart ball or double five. Bullseye to stay alive. And he's oh, he pulled it Vincent low. Vincent has got a little bit of work to do. Double five, a little bit awkward. Can be. Doesn't want to be dancing all around the board on this one. Oh, if you're gonna miss, miss outside. They're not five. bad misses, but that's an awful one because he's come inside. And if he does get the chance to return, he'll only get two darts at a double. Aspinall gifted the route back in here. Double eight. Can he take the chance? He can. Yeah. It's his second leg on the board and a break. So Van der Voort not there yet. One hundred and forty. One of those where I know people watching will be uh, monitoring the in-play market on this one. It's one of those where you might just be tempted to have a look at Nathan at this stage. Just based on what he was heroic last week. Yeah. He's, never out, he's never out of the game, Nathan Aspinall. I would be tempted. There's certainly a, a, an element of logic in doing this. Just a single 11, so bullseye. Oh, well, here we go. 1-2-1 one, one, check out on the ball. 5-0 becomes 5-3. Mentioned his good record here in Gibraltar, two times a semi-finalist, and he's still on course for a, a deep run this weekend. He's upped it, Nathan. Just completely transformed. I mean, 95. Nathan, you require 81. We were at a loss to explain how he found himself 5-0 down. We're equally baffled as to how. Well, not so much baffled, but you can just 49. sense that once he got two legs on the board, the whole psychological complexion of this match changed completely double 16 is the target once again Whoa! pressure though from van der Voort to get down to 67. Oh, you wouldn't mind banking that over the next leg if this goes aspinall has done the hard work bounced out i don't think it was in the double 16 but that one is <laughs> and we go all the way unbelievably it was five nil wow incredible he's gonna get a match that nathan aspinall and Vincent van der Voort has wilted here. Feel for Vincent, but it's been an incredible display from Nathan Aspinall to finish it off. And what a comeback this would be. 70 away. Just taking a moment just to let the hush descend. Bullseye. Which is the wire, leaves himself 25 and has to just hope and pray that van der Voort does not pull out a showstopper with this set of darts and he won't do. Got to hope for errors from Nathan Aspinall, but Vincent van der Voort won't believe what's happened here. Half dance to win 6 1. He hasn't any more match darts since. Nathan now for a place in round round three against Dirk van Dijvenbode. Got to compose himself. 
Nice. He's missed the chance. Unbelievably, Vincent van der Voort's going to get more match darts. Well, I said both players would have match darts, and Aspinall has squandered two there. Van der Voort looking at tops, and he's got two darts in hand. He's missed five match darts already. Long, long time ago, that was. There's a sixth, and there's a seventh. Yeah. Well, it seemed like an eternity ago since those other missed match darts, but there's two more. Yeah, never fancied Vincent there, did you? And this to complete the turnaround and to put Aspinall into the last 16. It's getting edgy and he gets there in the end. What an incredible match. Vincent van der Voort will be devastated. He led five legs to nil.